सूर्याय नम ओं सौ सुमाय नम ओं कुं कुजाय नम ओं बुं बुधाय नम ओं गुं गुरव नम ओं शुं शुक्राय नम ओं शं शनाश्वराय नम ओं राम राहव नम ओं कें केतव नम ओं I meant, is it a material goal or is it a dharmic goal? Ah, okay. Look, we don't need to say that dharma is only to be altruistic. Okay, dharma is to have the a good definition about dharma is like this: if everything goes wrong, and you explode yourself with that. The worst scenario happens. Are you still willing to stand for it? If the answer is yes, it's because that is dharmic. And that's why Duryodhana was dharmic in that sense. It's the concept of swadharma. It's not the concept of big dharma. You know that there is a big discussion in Mahabharata. Why in the hell Duryodhana not did not went to hell? <laughs> okay, this when our Western mind is reading that book, it's just like very advanced in that big odyssey, and say I I I can't go on. This is too much for me. <laughs> okay, but there is one discussion between Krishna and Duryodhana. Um, and uh, Duryodhana uh, Krishna asks um, Duryodhana, see Duryodhana you don't need the whole kingdom you can have the better half of the kingdom there is going to be enough for you and Duryodhana answers look Krishna I know that you are right and actually you are right but something inside me tells me that I should not do that, that I should fight the Pandavas. <laughs> this is, I was born for that. Okay? And uh, even if he is completely destroyed, he will say, I did what I was supposed to do. Okay? So the concept of Dharma for our Western mind is like that. Life has some vacations in Rishikesh. Let's become a yoga teacher and Lev have 108 uh, students doing retreat with us and uh, flying to, uh, who knows, a uh, castle in Europe to have yoga retreats. That, that is my dharma, okay? <laughs> everyone, everyone wants that dharma, okay? So dharma for us is more prone to be a success, successful and ethical life. This is how we can understand that concept from our framework. Well, this is not the concept of Dharma. Okay? Dharma is something that you can, you can prefer to die than to leave that inner truth. Okay? So going back to your question, sorry. Uh, the person can be feeling that, look, if that mental health and addiction or constantly, even if it doesn't work, I will rather to put my life on that direction than to be doing things that are more uh, easy to make money or to be socially rewarded. Okay? <laughs> she said, yes, yes. <laughs> so um, the fifth karmic period is the point that we should think. Look, I need to do something that is meaningful for me and my incarnation, my existence in this incarnation. I need to do that. Okay. It's my life, it's now or never. Okay. This is the mantra of the fifth karmic period. I want to live forever. There is the starting point, Sahar. 
that things will change. Someday I will die. In the fifth karmic period, doesn't matter if you're at 30 or if we're 70, there is this starting a uh, very um, distant beep. Someday you're going to die, my dear. <laughs> Have assurance about that. And, now, and that beep is this, the gong of the fifth karmic period. Okay, good. Now we can have class in the sense that we have that paper and so. But the first half an hour is the funny part that we just like bring some real question and we discuss and we throw ourselves through the, from the chair and say, I can't accept <laughs> or something like that. Okay, so now we are in the um fifth, mars type the fifth type we are in the sixth class seventh class sorry <laughs>